Good morning everybody, this is Green Arrow WB bringing you another video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In this video I'm going to show you where to get the mission John the Pajoko and also the location guide and how to beat it. So first up you need to get to Grante Bris Briscoe which is in England after you complete the long tutorial of Norway. After you do that you will keep on going straight. Just follow what I'm doing and and you will be on your way. And then you gotta go to Ragnarsson Encampment. I think that name will pop up again when you get a little bit closer. And once you get to the loading dock, a cutscene will appear with the Saxon bandits. And at this point is where you have to uh, fight them to take over their camp. So as you can see, we are loading up on the dock, and then once the once your Viking ship lands on the dock, a cinematic will appeal. After the cinematic, you will be fighting everybody, as I'm doing right now. I did fast forward it so it can, so I can get to the point of how to get the mission of John the Bajoko. So after you fight everybody, you will be, you will continue to go up, as you can see. And you get to a big humongous camp. After getting here, you will send these two people that are uh, tired, and then they will join your settlement that you are about to be building. After saving them, then uh, you will co finally complete the mission, Unwelcome, which is the quest that you are on, and then you will be going on to a new quest, which is called Settling Down. Now, for this quest, I did fast forward, but what you will have to do is get enough supplies so you can so you will be able to build the blacksmith. Once you get done building the blacksmith, what I did to help me go further and beat the mission a little bit more easier is I fully upgraded the spot and ball. Now it is free to fully upgrade it as you can see right now. If you did get the spot and ball from the Ubisoft Connect, you will have it. Link down below to see how to get the spot and ball as I did make a video yesterday. I thought that you would be going back to the camp and then you would talk to Sigurd. He would be telling you a few different things in the conversation, but in this conversation, most of it is that he built this room for you. After you get done with the conversation, you will be looking at three things in this room. So let this conversation go. And now we can see the three different things in the room. The first one is the bed, as you can see. The next one that I'm going to go to is the little box on the left hand side. You can open it if you want. It all depends if you want to. And then the third one is the Raven's Thorpe status, as you can see on the screen. After that, we will be going back to the lettering box because there is a letter in it. In this uh, letter, it is from Sigurd, and Sigurd is basically just telling you that he built this room for you. After reading the letter, you will continue going on the right hand side of the camp as I am going, and then you will see Sigurd, Dog, and the two assassin guys as you have already seen and then there will be another cinematic after that you will have completed the quest of the settling down quest and now you'll be on a new quest which is a new home now before you start doing the quest a new home you will actually go in the camp and go back into the room that Sigurd built for you inside this room is a new letter inside the letter box that letter is now from one of the people that have been uh, locate, locating different things around the world and that person have found where John the Bojoko is. Now you can start doing that mission. So now I'm going to tell you the uh, location guide and what you need to do to beat that mission so you can have John the Bojoko on your red settlement team so after you track the mission you will continue going forth 
and once you do that the icon on your compass will appear now if you do open your map it is a long way to go I would advise you to uh, whistle to your horse so you can actually just ride there I would advise you not to walk the whole 3000 way now going through the way you going to the mission you will be fighting some enemies so just be careful and make sure that you are ready for this long war ahead but after you get to it you will finally get to where his cave is where he is as you can see what i am doing right now just keep on going forward and you see a big humongous cave with a waterfall on the left hand side once i go inside the cave he will uh, you will be able to speak to him after you get done speaking to him you have to show him that you know you're not a bad guy so what you need to do is talk to his bell and follow his bell and do a few a few missions with the bell so after talking to him you're going to follow him and then he's going to take you to a what I would say a field of flowers after taking him to this field of flowers he will give you another mission and the next mission that's going to pop up in a few seconds you will be needing to catch a fish for the bell as it's going to pop up right now so after getting some arrows from the wood stump make sure you activate the sixth chance that you have and shoot some faces now you only need to kill one fish but i miss it to get a few fish as you can see what i'm doing right now loot the fish they walk all the way back to where the bell is i was a little bit confused because i thought i just needed to walk toward the bell but you do need to press the y button or the other buttons you have for the other consoles and then a little cinematic will appear after you see this, this cinematic, you'll be greeted with four bad guys. After killing all the bad guys, as you can see, you need to go back to Jog the Bajoko because people are trying to kill him. Once you get to it and defeat all of them, you will talk to John the Bajoko, and then he will take you. He will give you another mission that you will need to do. So in this next mission, you will need to find the Night Shed. Because what he's going to do is do a ritual that you and him will go through. If you keep on going straight, you will get to anyone's hope. Once you get there, climb up the little cliff, as you can see what I'm doing. And then make sure to activate your sixth sense. And you will see the Night Shed a few inches in front of you. Once you grab that said, you will then need to go to a big humongous tree. It will pop up on your compass. Just keep on going until you see a tree that, until you see a tree like mine. Once you get there, another cinematic will appear, and he will be making a brew for you and him. At this point, after drinking the brew, you will be fighting him as a bell with only your fist. It's not that hard, you just gotta make sure you dodge and attack and you will be able to defeat him in no time. After you defeat him, you will be out of the stasis, as I would like to call it, and now you and John and the Bell will be going to well the place, well the pe well the people that he needs to find that killed his wife. So after killing a army of people as you can see what I'm doing right now with the bell after you do that you will be following John again to the end of the to the end of the area that we are at right now after that he will be telling you to find another flower and to find this flower it is right by the tree that you wore at one time but at this time it is at the grave part of where his wife is once you get these flowers, you will just go down a little bit right by the tree and then another cinematic will appear. For these flowers, it is for the bell because somehow the bell died. And after you deliver the flowers and the, and the cinematic players, 
you will then have John the Bojoko on your team. Thank you guys for watching my videos. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to like and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.